Welcome back. Graham McComey paddles into history on this week's getaway. He joins a river trip tracing the same trail Lewis and Clark explored more than two centuries ago. It's pretty cool. Well, he says the best part about a paddle through Blind Slough is visiting a place holding onto history. On a clear day, the view atop Bradley State Wayside to the Columbia River is astounding. While picnic tables invite a longer stay in this prime day use site just off Highway 30, it's the river view that begs closer inspection. Maiden voyage. So give in and try something new with paddlers who gather to explore Columbia River backwater sloughs. Couldn't ask for better weather. We're going to run about maybe a mile upstream and cut into the Sitka Forest area. And then when we get all tired, we can float back down because it's going to be running out tides all the way to about 4 o'clock this afternoon, so it should be perfect for us. Steve Gibbons says the lower Columbia River's nooks and crannies provide paddlers a wealth of waterways. Scores of islands separated by dozens of sloughs. But remember, if you come, safety starts with a life jacket. It's a state law that you have to have one in the boat. It's a Scapoose Bay kayaking and smart kayaker law that you wear all the time. All the time. There's a couple nice sloughs in there. We'll put us right in the thick of things. Blind Slough is the thick of things, a nature conservancy preserve of over 800 acres of soggy swampland and no land access. Big chunk of mud right there, you guys. Watch out. So boating's the only way to get here to take in a vast forest stand that dates to the 1600s. The giants that live here are called Sitka spruce. It was a predominant tree that ran all the way up to Alaska. It gets to be about two to maybe four feet in diameter. And there is no other place in Oregon like it, a fact not lost on the visitors. I find it rejuvenating. It just, it feels like I, I feel younger just getting out and well, you are younger than these trees. Well, much. <laughs> Young at heart. <laughs> and it's not very far from home. You know, it's so close to Portland, Astoria, and all points in between. It's amazing. Very interesting because I learn things all the time. And, you know, especially with my grandparents, you know, it, it just, it's second home to me. Totally awesome. It is all of that and more where nature's touch restores the soul. I like the quietness. You can hear the wind blowing in the trees. You know, it's peaceful. Along the Columbia River with photographer Jeff Kastner. How peaceful. Grandma Comey, KGW.